A storm blew through the set of Loose Wimma this week, or should I say Stormy? We were due to interview US porn star and possible Donald Trump nemesis Stormy Daniels live on Friday's show but, as she puts it, lawyers started talking to lawyers and we ended up with an empty chair. But Stormy, as I discovered when I went to her dressing room for a lengthy chat, is made of steely stuff and, furious that someone was trying to shut her down, boldly overruled her own lawyer to give us a pre-recorded interview that ran this Monday. The bottom line being, don't mess with Stormy, a sentiment that may chime with the Donald. Their alleged affair, he denies it, started in 2006 when he was simply a businessman and star of The Apprentice. And in 2011 she gave an interview to America's In Touch magazine in which she claims they had unprotected sex. She says he also offered her a role on The Apprentice that never materialized, invited her to events, called her at least three times a month, and even welcomed her to his New York office. In other words, he wasn't exactly subtle. He didn't seem worried about it. He was kind of arrogant. It did occur to me, that's a really stupid move on your part, said Stormy at the time. Indeed. But he wouldn't be the first powerful man to behave in such a reckless manner. John Perfumo. Silvio Berlusconi, David Miller, David Patrese, Elliot Spitzer, Brooks Newmark, Jeffrey Archer, Jeremy Thorpe, Patty Ashdown, John Prescott and, of course, one of Trump's predecessors. Bill Clinton, history is littered with powerful men who have all either lost their jobs or seen their reputation suffer as a result of a sex scandal. Some were highly educated, some unapologetically ruthless in their professional dealings, and all very successful in their chosen career and yet all displayed a woeful weakness when it came to the lure of sex. It's presumably why the Russians still employ what have been known throughout history as Hone Traps, the female spies whose aim is to seduce the enemy. Time will tell if Teflon Trump will be toppled from his lofty perch by any further sexual revelations, but one suspects not, because his fans knew of his eye for the ladies before they voted for him. However, there's another element to the stormy story that might prove his undoing. The $130,000 non-disclosure agreement she reportedly signed in 2016, the same year he became president of the free world. Stormy is currently trying to overturn it and, if she does, her lawyer Michael Avenatti says the US public will be disgusted by the behind-the-scenes conduct of Mr. Trump and his personal lawyer Michael Cohen and that, ultimately, the president will be forced to resign. To paraphrase the old saying, it's not necessarily the crime that gets you, it's sometimes the cover-up. Or in Trump's case, the hush-up.